Still not touching the ground. Still haven't done it. And... Hello everyone, this is Multi24 Gaming, and I am here with Extreme Landings Pro. Today we will be flying the Old Glory. This will be the first time we've done the career for the Old Glory, and uh, the main reason for that is there aren't actually any sort of scenarios, there are rather sort of challenges. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing the challenges level 1 for the Old Glory scenario, but not exactly, they're not exactly story based, they're more just challenges. Uh, we'll be doing close call, saloom, and short runway, Sel slalom. Um, we'll be doing this first three. Alright everybody, so for this mission, it's called close call, and it's passed as close as possible over the location highlighted. You only have one attempt. So there's going to be a highlighted location, and we're going to have to get as close as possible. We're going to try and get our plane as close as possible to this point. Now, I have attempted this, and as you can see, I have zero planes, meaning it is freaking impossible. There's no way to do it. I don't know how Roar just released this. If you guys know better than me, please let me know. Um, but it's a bit ridiculous. So here's the highlighted zone, and we're going to make a low attempt flyover over it. Um, and first of all, it's very difficult to track and, like, track where it is. Because uh, it ends up going behind the plane, so I, also, I actually sort of suggest you, you go into this this mode here. Uh, but then you don't know when you're above it, and so I, I actually suggest you switch between the modes so you can actually tell. Um, but as you can see, there's the highlighted bit, and I can tell you with a surety that it is somewhere over this bay. Over here. Or, uh, river, I'm not sure which it is. Where are we? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's a, uh... It's a bay. As you can see, we're getting closer to the uh, the highlighted zone. Here it is down here. And as you can see, it's not exactly on the water. It's like under the water or something. It's weird. It's like somewhere in no man's land down there, as you can see. And there's not really a way to fly there. And so I'm flying pretty much as low as is not stupid. Let's see. Let's get down. Woo! Pull up. Okay, there's a shadow. The shadow is how you know... Um, how close to the ground you are and you have to get within 25 feet to get the first star and as you can see we can't even fly lower than 90 feet without our propellers touching um, I can fly and the propellers do touch and then wah! as you can see here we go ready propellers are gonna touch propellers touch oh nope we're dead so yeah you can see that's pretty much impossible but that doesn't mean we're not gonna try one more time um, this time we're gonna fly pretty much up and uh, we're gonna head straight down for it and just nosedive into it so uh, as long as we're staying above 230 ish knots we should be good we're climbing at a rather quick pace and we're gonna go straight down for it alrighty let's see Oh man, that's a gorgeous picture. Oh yes. Beautiful. Something about Extreme Landings. I mean, its graphics have just gotten better and better over the years. I don't know. I feel like they're upgrading them. Maybe it's just like on the windows. It's just stunning. I'm really waiting for them to update it though. I'm seriously ticked off that they have yet to... We, we still don't even have the FA-18 Super Hornet that they added, like, back in, what was it, March on mobile? I don't even know, but it's ridiculous. Okay, so as you can see, since we're up here, we can actually see the point where that, that thing's supposed to be, and so we're gonna nosedive straight for it. Uh, we're gonna try and get above it first, like, legit above it. Um, there it is. It's, it's down there. That's where it should be, and um, I don't care, like, I'm not showing you guys how to how to beat this because I don't know. Um, if somebody does know, then please, I beg you, let me know because I really would like to. Uh, I would really like to know, and I could make a pretty awesome video. Ah, crap. Okay, actually, pull up. This is not gonna work. Here we go. This plane does not pull up. In fact, propeller planes in general just do not pull up. And we're gonna go for it now. This thing does not like to to go down, so I might have already missed it. Let's see. Let's hope that highlighted bit. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. I shouldn't have a problem hitting it. 
Okay, here we go, here we go. Going straight for it. And, yeah, it's down there in no man's land, honestly. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. No, 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 no. We didn't do it. See, it's impossible. I don't know how that pass rotates up. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just Windows. Maybe it works for um, other devices, but uh, whatever. We are going uh, on to the next one. Sal Slalom. Man, my pronunciation, pretty much everything is pretty bad. Okay, follow the path indicated by rectangles and land as quickly as possible wherever you like. Controls, uh, Control the speed and the rudder to make quick turns. Okay, so this is what I shine at. Maneuvering. Unfortunately, this plane is not big on maneuvering, so I have to be careful. I have to, uh, all I have to do is make it through all the boxes. But I have to make sure I don't go too fast, uh, because if you go too fast, the plane won't turn fast enough. And then we'll miss a box, and then we'll completely just mess up the whole thing. Uh, so you have to be fast, but careful. And I think careful is better, because then you don't miss a box and have to turn around. Better safe than sorry. However, once you've gotten pretty good, then you can deal with these things. What's the alarm? Crap. Oh, I think it was a proximity alarm. That means that we were just really close to the ground. You don't usually have to worry about those if you know what you're doing. <laughs> but it's a good thing it exists. All right, this is a bit of a tight turn here. Ooh. Just make sure you utilize both the rudder and the roll. You need to do both, always, in order to make like proper turns, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe that's wrong. I'm not a real aviator. <laughs> like, look at me. Look at me flying this thing. Woohoo! All right, here we go. Oh, yes! Oh, uh-oh. Careful. And then don't be afraid to use the air brake, too. I know that's not what someone would typically do. Um, dang, I don't know which airport, which, which runway to land at. I'm sorry, guys. I'm supposed to be prepared for these, but, uh, you're watching me now, so... All right, here we go. We're gonna land at the one to the left. Okay. Flaps down. Gear down. As soon as you hear those that gear sound finish, then you're safe to land. And then I always like to like push the rudder down. I don't know, I feel like I'm driving the front of the plane down into the ground and that creates more friction. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! And boom! 155 seconds. <laughs> 155 seconds. No. A minute and 55 seconds. And we have landed the plane. There we go. All right, moving on. Perfect challenge, new record. All right, my previous one was two minutes and 13 seconds because I was being all safe and careful. All right, next, short runway. Touch the ground and stop in the shortest possible space. A correct speed can help you in this challenge. So this plane can fly pretty slowly. And so what I suggest is actually having the flaps down a little bit because that provides lift. <clears throat> um, but uh, just, just like when you take off, you gotta have the flaps like fully down when you're about to land. Um, sometimes you, f sometimes I forget to put them all the way down when I land, but here it's pretty important. You gotta basically, now since I'm, I'm lazy, I like full throttle it until I get to a certain point, about two miles out, and then I full back everything. And when I say full back, I mean like reverse thrusters, flaps, air brake, gear, everything, the whole deal. See? All right. Flaps, air brake, <clears throat> gear down. All that creates drag. I know you're not supposed to use your air brakes in the air. I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use them in the air. But, uh, it really works in the game and they don't come flying off. And this is an arcade game and so, we're not being timed now. So you don't need to worry about time. Um, as long as you're in the air. You want to basically fall out of the air. So go slow enough. You'll see basically the speed I'm at when I, when I basically have lost lift. Right? Don't use the air brake until you absolutely... In fact, don't. Just don't use the air brake because that'll make you decrease altitude and you don't want to do that. You want to go as slow as you can before you touch the ground. As slow as you possibly can. Still not touching the ground. Still haven't done it. And fell onto it. Air brake. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Woohoo! All right, three planes. There we go. See? Oh, nope. Idling the engine. On my joystick makes it still go or throttle okay ladies and gentlemen we have completed those first three missions that went pretty fast um 
So we got three planes on two of them and zero on the one that's pretty much impossible. So if you know how to complete that one, please let me know because I would really like to make a video on how to do the impossible. I did that once with uh, the business jets. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was this one, fast takeoff time. This one's ridiculous. It's, it's almost impossible, but I think I had I done it, yeah, in one of my videos. And I made a video on how to. <clears throat> so, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like. Comment everything that you feel like commenting. Um, and I'll try to respond, or at least like and read them. And um, also, check out the Discord channel, because, um, you know, we love seeing your screenshots of Extreme Landings Pro and talking, and I'm... A quite often responding and talking in there with my wonderful Discordians. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.